It was a tremendous honor to be named Risk Manager of the Year by, by GARP. Uh, I take it uh, real pride in it because it does come from peers. The risk management profession uh, grew very, very quickly and maybe too quickly uh, in the late 90s and, and the early parts of uh, the 2000s. And we pulled in a lot of people with different backgrounds. Um, and that was very positive. We got a very diverse set of uh, perspectives. But it also meant we had a lot of people who didn't have kind of the basic fundamental sort of trading risk uh, uh, training that we used to think of as, as required for risk manager. Uh, we had people who hadn't spent day in, day out making bets or seeing the effect of these things. And it took us a while to integrate. It took us a while to consolidate these mindsets. I think there was some shakeout. I think there were some people who came into the profession and left, um, possibly leaving something good behind, but, but it was to the good of the profession that we settled out. And I think we are more integrated uh, than we have been in the past. We really don't have the kind of divides, even a few years ago, between the quant risk managers and the non-quant, between the buy side and sell side, between the ones who were sort of prescriptive policing limit types and the ones who uh, had, had, had different attitudes toward risk. I think the risk manager to risk manager communication has improved dramatically. Uh, it used to be if I would meet the chief risk officer of another organization, I had absolutely no idea what kind of person I would meet. They could be a compliance officer, they could be a lawyer, they could be a mathematician, they could be a bank executive. Uh, these days, you know, we find people, we, we, uh, I, I pretty much know what to expect and I know how to communicate with them. So I think the risk management profession is in excellent shape. I think we've got a lot of growing to do. Uh, we've got a lot of changes we have to make. Uh, we're probably a little top heavy in terms of age. We have too many senior people my age. We don't have enough, uh, uh, you know, we, we, I don't think we've done enough of like bringing along younger people um, just because of the, the, the growth in the profession so fast. So I'd like to see a lot of new ideas. I'd like to see a lot of younger chief risk officers. I'd like to see a lot of, uh, uh, new approaches in organizations, especially uh, for those entities in emerging markets. I think that an awful lot of the consensus of risk management, the sort of standard practice, is really geared for a G7 big bank kind of uh, environment. And uh, we really need to do some rethinking a little bit to apply that in more uh, faster growing, more robust, but possibly uh, less, less mature and less stable uh, kinds of situations. Well, there's really different kinds of people who want to go into risk management. I would have different advice for different people. Most of the jobs in risk are and, and will continue to be in, in, in back office risk measurement and risk, risk uh, analysis and reporting. Um, and I think these are excellent jobs. I was a finance professor for some years, and I always used to advise students, you know, to tell them, look, everybody likes the glamour, the romance of the front office jobs where you make millions of dollars as a trader, where you're on the lines making uh, decisions and uh, everyone looks up to you. But those really, for most people, aren't very good jobs. Uh, most people who try to get them fail. Uh, they're very stressful. You have no time. Uh, you don't have a good family life. You probably have a very short earning career. Uh, back office jobs, you, you know, can make a date for the evening and actually keep it. You can uh, see your family once in a while. You can have really a very nice life. Um, and I do think for most people these are frankly the best jobs. And the key to doing them well is to not treat them just as, as you know, sort of an accountant going through the motions, doing the numbers. They truly are risk jobs. You do have to understand risk. You do have to be sensitive to the fact you're really dealing with real risks for people. I would give the same advice to an accountant. You have to know to an accountant has to know it's real money. It can't just be adding up numbers and applying rules. Uh, for a risk person in back office, if this is risk, uh, yeah, your job personally isn't all that risky, but you're dealing with something that's very risky. You have to be meticulous, you have to be sensitive, you have to understand the basic mathematics of risk, and you have to understand the uh, institutional implications of risk as well. Uh, the next set of jobs is for front office risk managers, and traditionally front office risk managers are drawn from the business. So if you're going to risk manage traders, you really have to be a trader. If you're going to risk manage any other business, you really have to be someone who has done the business. Uh, here I think it's an excellent idea for people if you're, if you're in a business, and you might be good at it, you might not, 
But if you like to think about it more than you like to do it, you should really think about being a risk manager. It's a little bit like, you know, if you're a player, you might be a great player, or you might be a not so great player, but if you like to think about the sport, uh, think about being a coach. Uh, we need coaches. Very rare to find a coach who's never played the game at all, but we often find coaches who are not particularly good players are excellent uh, at coaching. And being a front office risk manager is really like being a coach. I don't think you should aim for this career if you've had no experience, if you have no interest in the actual front office job. That is, I would not recommend to somebody to try to become a front office risk manager in a trading organization if they've never traded, or an asset manager if they've never wanted to be a portfolio manager. So it's a different career path within the front office job rather than someone who's just interested in risk. Personally, I'm a middle office risk manager, and those are the fewest jobs. <laughs> And so it's something you want to think hard about going into because there's not a tremendous amount of opportunity. Most of the growth we've seen has been in back office and front office risk management. We don't really need a whole lot of uh, uh, middle office risk managers. Middle office risk manager is a very specialized job. It appeals to a sort of specialized kind of person. If you want to do it, I think that it's not something you do, you go into it directly. I think is you want to get some experience in the front office, you want to get some experience in the back office, and then at that point it would be a time to think about uh, a middle office. I would say it's a career move, kind of a mid-career move for someone who's done very well in uh, e e either the front or the back office first.